What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and I'm here with the updated version of Discade. I've gotten a lot of comments about you guys wanted me to do an updated uh, how-to video on the Discade and how to get uh, the files off of your devices. So right here as you can tell I have an iPhone 4, okay, iPhone. Uh, this is plugged in so I'm going to up and click on Discade. Also, uh, one thing I found out is if you, if you have a uh, if you have a college like .edu email then you can use that email and get a free registered uh, code to get the free version of Discade and I'll show you guys that in a second but I did find that out so but uh, I did not register mine yet I will uh, when I'm done this video but after this see as you can tell right here uh, these are not clicked by Discade or registers not clicked so this is the unregistered version uh, first you gotta plug in your device so it is plugged in right now then you want to go to file systems media click OK go to iTunes control right there click on iTunes nope click on music sorry and you'll see all these different files okay you want to click the very first one go all the way down hold in shift and click the very last one that will highlight all of them where you can do a uh, command A on the Mac and control A on the PC and then after you have all of those you want to get a file so I have a file right here called mp3 so then I'm going to grab all these so as you can tell I'm grabbing them all I'm going to drag and drop them to mp3 and I'm going to let go and then it's going to say copying please wait and it's going to copy all my files I only have like 10 or so songs on here um, but it will copy all the different uh, folders over to your uh, specific folder I would suggest making a specific folder on your desktop and that will let them copy all over so as you guys can tell it's done then you can either exit out of that or minimize it, but I'm just going to move it over there. Uh, and now you have all these different files. Some of these files will probably be empty. Let's see, like that one right there. F01 is empty for me because I don't have that many songs. But as you can tell, F00 has three songs and F02 has one song. You'll probably find a few of them every, like, they'll just be random, honestly. So what I would do then is exit out of that. And then you can go into iTunes, which will be, whoop, hold on. There we go. Then you can go into iTunes, and if you drag and drop this folder right here into iTunes, you can then add all the songs that you just uh, ripped off of your device back into iTunes. That is 100% the free version of it. Uh, that's how you get it through the file systems. I really don't understand how they have not figured that out yet. Um, uh, otherwise, if you try to go through here, the music and video. Uh, section you'll get these but then if you try to drag and drop them off it says discade is not registered right there so you have to buy discade you want to click not now so I guess they don't realize that you can go through the file systems and then the media and then do all the other extra stuff but either way uh, it's a little more tedious but this way you can still get it for free um, and then I'm not sure if the newer version has a trial uh, period anymore since they did seem to block the uh, other the other way of doing it but you can still go through media and then click OK and then do all that other crap that I just said. It's the exact same way on the PC. I am using a Mac right now just to show you guys that you can do it on a Mac. Um, it's the exact same way on the PC. Just follow that uh, step for step. But either way, that's how you get the songs off of your device. So now if you want to get your free version of Discate and you are in college uh, with a .edu email address, you want to go to Google, go to Discate.com. I'll actually post a link in the description. So just click on that. Don't bother going to Google. Uh, you go to Discate's website. Then you want to find the Discade symbol. You click on that. Okay. And then you want to click on this educational button right here. You see that? Click on educational. And then it says free Discade educational license program. And what you what it wants you to do is type in your, uh, it says right up here, uh, all students, teachers, and personnel attending an accredited post-secondary educational institution is eligible for a free Discade license provided that they hold an email address ending with the domain name .edu, .ac, .uk, .ac, .jp, etc. Uh, or their institution has been previously registered in our database. Um, so basically what they want you to do is to come down here, type in your first name, your last name, your email address, use the email address that has a .edu or whatever your uh, university's uh, dot ending thing is if it's dot uh, ac dot uk whatever just type that in type in your email address type in those uh, 
uh, letters and then click get my free license they'll send you an email with your registration with your registration key you can do that and then type in your registration key into Discade, and then you'll have a free Discade forever so that's one way to get a free one uh, if you are part of college if you guys are not in college yet then I'm sorry but you can guys can just continue using the the free trial and going through the file systems that way because apparently they haven't blocked that yet because I, I don't know why but they haven't blocked it yet and if the trial does show up you can delete all the files um, and I showed you guys how to do that on a PC but I don't think I showed you guys how to do that on a Mac so to do that on a Mac you're going to want to go to the go menu click on go then click on computer and I'll bring this over in a second I have two monitors so okay there we go click on Macintosh HD click on library go up to the search bar and type in disk aid okay hit click enter and then you're only going to see probably two maybe three files on there so then you want to go to this little plus button right here click on plus click on uh, the kind right here click on other then go down to this one where it says is any after my Mac mini stops being really slow alright you're going to scroll down to where it says system where are you system files right there you're going to click on that click OK and then click on this and say are included and now you're going to get all these different files so to get rid of the trial if there is a trial then you want to delete all of these files okay except maybe the .dmg file because that's your installation file so you might just want to drag that off into your desktop and then delete them all because then after you delete them it'll uninstall diskgate and then you can reinstall diskgate and get your trial back so uh, that's how that will work try that out and let me know how it works um, but that's pretty much it. All right. I hope you guys like these videos. If you do, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out a lot. Uh, make sure you subscribe to me for new videos. Plus, the new YouTube homepage and the whole YouTube layout is all different now. So uh, I will post a video on the whole, all the differences of YouTube, uh, hopefully either today or tomorrow. Maybe I'll be trying to do more and more videos. Uh, I've just been really busy at school, especially with uh, Christmas coming up. I'll be going back home. I'll be home for a month, so I'll be doing a lot of videos then. So look forward to that. If you guys want me to do a specific video, please post a comment down below uh, with your specific video idea, and I will definitely look at those, and I will uh, try to get those videos out as soon as I can. All right? So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.